Okay, so this is a sequel to a video before of making keys and unlocking locks. And in this video, we're going to be making some keyholes like this. So without further ado, let's begin. So, um, so we open a new file and assuming we all saved the file for the lock video last time, uh, just go to file open and you don't need to save this and look for your lock file right here this is my one so i will just open it and then there we go so now the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna separate the lock with the keyhole so there's the cylinder and the cube right here so just tab into edit mode and press p loose part so we got the cylinder and the lock. Just select the cylinder, right click, set origin and origin to geometry. And now we're gonna scale it up a little bit cause like the key is kind of at the edge. You might need to move it to the, on the X a little bit. So the thing is on the center a little bit more. And we can start making the keyhole. So. We're gonna use a boolean modifier and make some kind of uh, object to make our keyhole. So yeah, so just select the cylinder slash into it like this and then shift A add a cylinder, move it up and scale it shift Z. Um, the, the scale on the Z doesn't really matter because it's gonna go through anyways. But you can adjust it down if it if it like looks too over. So tab into edit mode and we're gonna select a, this four parts at the bottom like this. And press E to extrude and then scale it on the Y and then scale it on the X by zero. So now we got the keyhole kind of thing. So now slash out and make sure that you got your desired shape so like maybe try to adjust the, the cylinder parts by selecting it and scaling it shift z and maybe moving it on the x scale shift z about that and Maybe we need to loop cut this area and scale it on the Y a little bit because like this spot, there's a little bump like that we did last time. And I feel like this part is too skinny, so scale uh, Y. And now we just look from bottom view and check if the shape is okay. And it's going on this side too much so select both of them and move it on the Y till it's centered and yeah there we go so now all we do is select both the cylinders the lock and the, this part and slash into the thing select the center and add the boolean modifier and select using this suction thing and select the key hole thing uh yeah the thing that's gonna mark our hole just select it and then uh, and then you can apply it go here apply and then you can delete this now so now when you slash out there we go we got the key hole so now one thing to add is we want the inside of the key to be kind of black so you can slash in here and then tab into edit mode and kind of select this outside loop like this extract on the, the Z up then we're gonna select this part in, uh, in a loop like this and then just press F to fill uh, oops take this out uh, take that out F to fill and there we go so now just select this part as well go to here and then add a new color 
menu, make it black, and then assign. So now, slash out, and you can't really see it because it's kind of moved on the Z a little bit, so move it down. And there we go, it appears. So maybe you can slash in a little bit and move this down if you think it's coming down too much. You can do that and let's check the animation there we go so yeah now if you try you if you want to make like some cool key shapes you can like loop cut you can do some loop cuts oh wait um if you want to do some cool key shapes, you can like use the knife tool and add some lines to it. And maybe you can like oops, you can like move it on the Z Shift Z like this to make some different shapes. Maybe like you can move this. It's like up to you. So yeah. So like, go go try out some cool keyhole shapes, yeah. So that should be it for the keyhole, we did the boolean stuff, and I'll see you um, soon, <laughs> yeah, bye bye.